And so we say hi again, everybody, and we welcome you to the Melvindale Sports Arena for MASL action here tonight on GoLiveSportsCast.com as the Detroit Waza take on the Syracuse Silver Knights in a battle of Eastern Division teams. And Detroit looking to come back the other way as it is uh, sent deep into the zone. That's one of the, uh, oh, they score. It came off to the side and they score, and it's Scotty Wright. I believe who was able to tip it in there in Detroit after uh, all the pressure in their own zone uh, comes down to the other end and on a play that really didn't look like it was going to be particularly dangerous. So Waz's score here at uh, 221. The neon orange shoes and there's a long shot from the line. How about that? Jerry Salo makes it two to nothing. He just uh, said, how do you do with that long right footer from the line? And it's a power play goal for Detroit and a, a two to nothing lead. Go in the opening quarter. Was it two? Silver Knights no score and now put one on the board for the Silver Knights as they convert that kick out of the corner and it's fired by by Corey Aleno. And Aleno makes it a two to one game. Spots the ball a little closer to the goal and a little closer to the wall. And uh, Jerusalem weighs his options. Has Burt open top of the arc. Gave it to Deku and Costa Deku has scored. And it's 3 1 Detroit. The count off the feed from Jerusalem at 9 01. Took the ball away, and Aaron Burt is on it for Detroit. Burt. Field wide, near side, Lopez banks it off the glass, but it doesn't come out in front. And O'Quinn, a long outlet pass and a race for the ball. Here comes Toby, Darren Toby, and he scores. Costa Deku was right there with him, but Darren Toby staying with it. And after a scoring chance for Detroit, Darren Toby comes back to score for Syracuse at 13-11. Oh, Ochiano with a chance if he can take it away. Matos with a chance if he can get to it, but he can't. Here's Ochiano off to the side. In front, Matos, and he scores! Daniel Martini Matos with 38 seconds left to go in the half. Takes advantage of a giveaway, or maybe takes advantage of a Detroit takeaway. Doesn't matter. The ball's in the back of the net. Matos has scored, and Detroit is... Back into a two-goal lead again. Four to two, Detroit with the lead. As you see, O'Quinn, he just coughed that ball up. No, actually. Free kick Detroit from the line with a minute one to go in the third, and Costa Deku, the count, will take the kick. Chips it off to Fiore, and the drive, he scores! Tim Fiore, hard along the field. A long shot that finds the back of the net behind O'Quinn. And with 58 seconds to go in the third, Detroit back on top by two. It's Waza five, Silver Knights three. So Waza works the free kick perfectly. And they move back into a two goal lead. And that is the first goal this year by Sam Fury. That is his first goal as a Waza flow. Here's Forbes on the go for the Silverhawks. Back into the zone. Chipped off to the side. Vitaly trying to work out in front. Had his shot blocked, but he scores on the rebound. Vitaly got his own rebound, and he pounded it in. I think it went in off Scotty Wright, who was trying to block it at the goal line, but a beautiful goal there by Vitaly. And for the first time since the game was 0-0, we're tied here in Detroit. It's Detroit 5 and Syracuse 5. All right, underway again. Brand new game, 5-5 five, five tie. And here comes Aaron Bird moving in, and he pulls the goalie, and he scores! And Bird with a beautiful finish. And just a matter of a handful of seconds after Cincinnati ties the score, Aaron Bird moves in to put Detroit back on top. This goal at 2.12, so it took Aaron Bird all of eight seconds. 
Wide. Santana collects it in the near right wing corner. Centering pass went off Bird. Loose ball out in front and they score. They score. The ball came off to the side and it hit Elmer Neto right in the chest and caromed into the net. Now the first, the penalty by Syracuse's Dominic Vitale. Jerusalem trying to go around his man, leaves it right there for Deku, who moves in deeper. 50 seconds left in the power play. Jerusalem on the ball for Detroit. Jerusalem shot, he scores! Jerusalem is second of the night, and Detroit goes into a 7 6 lead. Jerusalem with the power play goal with 4.59 to go. So the goal comes at 10.01. Deep in the zone, and the ball's loose off to the side. Falling, Matos clears it away. Look at Bowman come racing up the right side. Bowman looked to move right in on goal. Chipped it out in front, and they score! They score! It's Victor Otiano taking that beautiful feed from Zane Pollock, a hustle play all the way, and Otiano went hard to the net, took the pass from Bowman, and he taps it in. And Detroit has moved into a two-goal lead again. They can taste it now. I like the uh, jersey of the extra attacker because instead of a name, where the name would be, it says sixth attacker. Five seconds to go. It's going to be a great win for Watson tonight. Three seconds, two seconds, one. This game's over, guys. How about that? How about that, boys? Way to go. Nice effort tonight by Detroit Waza. Really nice effort. Their first ever win against a former MISL team comes in the form of an 8-6 to six win tonight over the visiting Syracuse Silver Knights. And I'll tell you what, this was a team that was down uh, heading into this one tonight in many ways. They uh, went to Rochester last weekend, just got drilled. There was a big bench clearing altercation near the end of it and the, the team just, uh, you just had a sense that uh, there was disarray, that there were problems uh, with Detroit Waza flow and then they came out here tonight and really the first uh, two minutes of the game this evening, Syracuse.